Right, guys. Um, quick video. This this video serves as testament as to why it pays to get premium products um, from manufacturers that have a big presence in Australia and support their products. So this house here uh, has about an eight-year-old solar system, and the panels have got water ingress. I was actually introduced to this job um, as a, a warranty claim to replace one panel which was that one up there um, on replacing it I noticed that there were other panels that had water ingress just there there you can see the corrosion on the bus bar at the bottom there and you can see the water line and this one here is quite bad as well all right um, so I wasn't surprised that the whole system shut down again. So what happens when the, when water gets in the panels, it creates a earth isolation fault and the DC power, or sorry, the DC voltage in the panels tracks to earth. The inverter notices that there's um, an earth isolation fault and the whole system will shut down. Um, and that's what's happened here. So if you had a, a cheap um, panel with a small presence in Australia who didn't really care about the reputation they're just smashing out volume at low prices um, and same goes for the retailer and installer then you'd be left to fight your own battle on this one what they would do is they'd say yes no worries we'll replace the panels for you here's a two-page checklist of what you need to get an electrician to go to site to do and they'll want you to remove each panel test each panel report back on each panel send all that information off with photos and that whole exercise will cost you a lot of money it will cost you that much money that you will just quickly decide that okay well, that's not going to work it's not worth it i'm just going to replace the whole system at my own expense so this house this system's about eight years old six to eight years old off the top of my head um, this is the second owner of the home so it's not the original purchaser but the manufacturer is still standing by their product and um, contributing very heavily towards the cost of the system removal and replacement um, it's a two-story house it's a very steep roof as you can see and so we've got edge protection and scaffolding up here so the overall expense if you had to do this yourself out of your own pocket would be huge um, so these owners are new owners they inherited the system are very lucky that the manufacturer is contributing to the product and the replacement um, it's a good example of why you pay for a premium product uh, because if you if it was a cheap product then the manufacturer, the installer, the retailer, they're just not gonna help you. You're just gonna get that much run around. You just give up and just decide it's easier and cheaper just to pay for it yourself and be done with it. So guys, if you're staying in your house for more than 10 years, do some good research on the products you're using because it, it, it pays to spend an extra few thousand dollars initially and get a good quality product that's gonna have you back. Righto. That's it, I gotta get cracking. Thanks for watching. Right, so day two on this job, removing the warranty solar panels and replacing them. All the solar panels are now on the roof. I've done the top story, which was quite a challenge. Had to walk them up that ladder there with a the harness on, of course. And uh, these ones here were also quite a challenge as it's a really steep roof. So on your own, it's pretty difficult because you keep sliding, obviously. Um, but it's done, they're all good, all new panels, nice and replaced. And what I've got here is a running board because I didn't want to dent this section of roof and only had the one board. So I've actually used one of the old solar panels to walk on. Now, this brings me to a, a question I, I get asked and I see quite a lot and that is, is it okay to walk on a solar panel? Well, common sense would tell you that they're made of glass, so no. Um, some of them are really quite strong and you can walk on, as is the case with these, okay? Um, but some of them are really quite fragile and you definitely would not walk on them because A, you're potentially gonna shatter it. B, you're gonna do damage that you can't see. And D, 
you can um, slip and hurt yourself and fall off the roof. Um, so I remember seeing a video on YouTube from this clown in America called Jerry Rig and he's taken selfies of himself sitting on the solar panels and walking on them. I think that solar panels are actually pretty fragile, but that's not the case. I am currently walking on top of some and I weigh about 200 pounds. Now obviously this isn't something you want to do on a regular basis. They are made of glass, but still, can't be a Jerry Rig Everything video without a durability test. Um, don't do that. You will damage your panels and it's damage you can't see. It creates hot spots, it damages the silicon cells uh, due to pressure, pressure and it can also cause what exactly what I've done here and that is replacing these panels because of the water ingress. You can get break this seal here and then on the lower end where the water will sit just like that the water can make its way under between the glass and the black back sheet. So don't walk on your solar panels. Um, it's a very bad idea.